All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick. As always, you guys can call me Touch for Ninja. And just in case any of you guys have not come to any of my live streams in 2022 with myself, as well as my fiance Tara, I just want to wish you all a happy new year. Hopefully you guys had a very safe and happy holidays. And in this video, we are going to be going very candid and probably going to be the most honest video on the status of this channel that I have ever posted in my entire lifetime. And we're gonna pull back the curtain and be completely candid and honest. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for the rest of the video. So the current state of the channel as it stands right now is that the channel is somewhat on life support and we really need to do something different we basically cannot continue doing what we've been doing for the last decade now of me doing Let's Play walkthroughs. So that is for a variety of reasons. And the first one is I'm going to take full ownership of 2021. 2021 overall for myself was not a great year for the channel. I did not play as many games as I wanted to. I started a bunch of series that I simply did not finish. And there are a lot of reasons for that personally and professionally for myself that I kind of have to take ownership of. And I'm doing that right now. The next thing, which is probably the most important factor of the overall kind of bad place we are in the channel is that the YouTube algorithm is absolutely kicking this channel's ass. And I am not the only one it has affected as you guys probably had noticed within the last several years. A lot of people who used to do Let's Play walkthroughs have either decided to shift it to towards different types of content or they just completely disappeared altogether because it was no longer sustainable and feasible for them to do so. How YouTube's algorithm has shifted now is that it highly rewards if your subscriber base clicks on the videos immediately and within a certain amount of time. If you take a macro idea of how a Let's Play walkthrough channel works on YouTube, I play a game start to finish, I break that game into smaller parts and I upload those smaller parts over a set amount of time. So in most cases, the majority or a large majority of people will click the first video just because they want to see how a game starts, how it looks, how it plays at the very beginning. But over time, as time progresses, the views drop for how a series performs. And that's why you have a lot of people who only post the first part of a series. But that's basically it. The YouTube algorithm is kicking this channel's ass. Basically, if you're not clicking, you're, if people aren't clicking right away, you're not getting recommended, your views are not going up, you are not getting new subscribers. And that's basically kind of the downhill turn and the kind of vortex this channel is in at its current moment and its current state. The new YouTube is not designed for Let's Play walkthrough people. Let's Play walkthroughs used to be the hottest thing on YouTube. They used to do extremely well. They would have a very long tail of views, that meaning that over time, a lot of people eventually will watch the video as it gets recommended. But now YouTube system is more about the that kind of that quick bite, that quick view. If you click right away, you watch for a large amount of time, and then basically that's going to be the videos that get most re recommended on the platform. That's not how this channel operates. It's just the sad truth. All right, so now I've given you guys a forensic audit of the channel and its current state. I need a game plan, right? I need a plan to kind of change things around because it's a very famous saying that the definition of insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. So I've been doing that the last two, three years now. It hasn't worked, so we kind of have to change basically that secret formula of how we're gonna be doing things. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is completing series faster. In 2022, a standard eight to 10 hour game will be done and completed and uploaded within 10 days of the first part one. And another way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to increase the length of the videos that I post. We're going to be going to a 45 minute to 60 minute, one hour video for each part. So there are a couple reasons for that. First off, I'm obviously going to be finishing the game faster. And second of all, that reduces the amount of non-clicks that I'm gonna get. So if they're less videos, they're basically less videos for people not, not to click, if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. It's all going back to that whole YouTube algorithm thing where you are absolutely punished 
if your subscriber base isn't clicking your videos. The next thing we're gonna be moving towards is video game reviews. So the moment I finish the game, the goal for 2022 is within three days of me posting the ending of the game, I'm going to be posting a full review of the game on the channel for you guys to watch. Those videos take a little a bit longer to create, um, but as well, this is gonna be kind of tying into the next part of the video, which is channel memberships. So channel memberships are basically YouTube's answer to the subscription system and the subsystem that Twitch offers. And honestly, it's a very uneasy feeling. It's something that I've been putting off for years now because the feature has been available for a while now. I just don't feel, didn't feel right asking you guys directly for money. It's something that YouTube really struggles with that Twitch does extremely well. Twitch does a great job of normalizing gifting subs as well as donating money. But on YouTube, it's still not there at this point. But the reality is the amount of views that I get is just not sustainable at this point. Point, especially since a lot of you guys as well use AppLocker. And honestly, I can't fault you for using AppLocker. And I'll be honest because this is a very candid and honest video. I use AppLocker myself. I absolutely use AppLocker because ads are so annoying on the internet to deal with, especially you get those hyper aggressive ones that don't go away or are constantly popping up. But it's just the reality that with AdBlocker combined with the lower amount of views, we kind of have no choice but to move into finding secondary sources of income to kind of help support the channel and memberships is another way. So in 2022, we're gonna really be deep diving into the membership system and I am going to basically follow my promises to you guys to the letter. So those are views of video games that I talked about earlier that will be open five days earlier to all channel members. You, the, Everyone else will get eventually, but the channel members will get a five day early access to those videos as well as the reviews. As well, channel members overall will be getting exclusive live stream on the 15th of every month. Another change that's coming in 2022 is that all Let's Play walkthroughs that contain my voice, my commentary will have face cam moving forward. So I know this is something that some of you guys will not like. You feel that having a face directly over top of the gameplay kind of takes you out of the environment as well as the experience. But honestly, I enjoy making them. And I feel like a lot of you guys enjoy make, uh, watching it as well. It keeps me energized knowing that I am on camera. It keeps my energy levels up higher. And personally, it's more videos that I enjoy making. I'm having to, I feel like I'm interacting with you guys a bit more with the face cam. So that's hopefully something that won't turn off too many of you guys. But like I said, moving forward, all Let's Plays will have face cam with it. I'm still toying with the idea of still posting raw gameplay without commentary for those people who just want the straight gameplay, no commentary whatsoever. That may or may not happen based on time restraints. I am still a solo YouTube creator. I don't outsource any of my projects to anyone else. I do all my own recording. I do all my own ed editing. I do all my own thumbnails, uploading. That's all, all it's still all in the house. I haven't paid anyone else to do it. And they're just so many hours into a day. So if I can, if I can have fine time to post the gameplay straight to YouTube without commentary, I will do so. But once again, that's kind of based on the time restraints and we're just gonna, I can't promise it, but we'll try moving forward to see if it can actually happen. So that's just some of the benefits of being a channel member. Some of the other ones, at the higher tiers, your name will actually be shouted out in video game reviews as well as live streams. I will personally thank you and your name will be posted in specific videos such as part ones, reviews, as well as live streams. Once again, it's optional, but if you guys wanna directly support the channel, that is one way that you guys can do it. If you guys wanna learn more about channel memberships, the link to join and learn more is in the description below. So that's hopefully something that we will can kinda of evolve and grow as time progresses. And finally, the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is my second channel. So a couple years ago, I created a channel called Tetra Ninja Family, where it was going to be a gaming channel focused on family friendly content. After I created it, I quickly realized I just don't really enjoy playing those types of games. So 
it's just kind of been sitting there this entire time but i decided that i'm going to start creating really unique content on that channel and posting it there directly this channel right now that you're watching will still be the home for let's plays reviews maybe the occasional video game unboxing but for all other content i'm going to be creating it and posting it on that channel i've had a goal that i'm going to post at least one video a week and it's always going to be on sunday so if you guys want more videos about maybe like a highlight video or a special setup video or an unboxing video or just my ideas of what i am thinking or what i'm playing right now basically a channel about my life and then it's gonna be posted on that channel because so I think that's gonna work better and be more on brand of posting it directly on this main channel that focuses mostly on just let's plays and walkthroughs and reviews. So yeah, that is it. That is my forensic audit and honest breakdown of the current state of this channel, my plans for 2022 moving forward. And hopefully, I'm hoping with all these changes, all of these plans as well as with your support through your views as well as channel memberships we can kind of right the ship and get this channel back on track and allow me to kind of continue doing what i'm doing which is making videos for you guys to enjoy and watch and i'm hoping that it works i'm really hoping that it works so we can continue playing video games and sharing our experiences together and time will tell if these changes will work and we will have a conversation very very soon so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this deep look into kind of like the backgrounds of the channel i'm gonna work harder i'm gonna work harder than i have ever in the past this upcoming year in the early stages of the let's play walkthroughs that i used to guys used to do all the time you guys know I was one of the hardest working Let's Players on YouTube. I was extremely fast, I was extremely consistent, and over the years, I've kind of also, like I said, honestly, I've become a little bit complacent in where the channel stands. I've kind of taken what I've had a little bit for granted, but we're gonna write that ship uh, this year and get things back going the way that I wanted them to go and creating content that I am very proud of and Hopefully you guys will enjoy. So yeah, happy new year once again. We're gonna have a great 2022 together. We're still going through this whole pandemic situation, but at least hopefully my videos help you guys a little bit and we're just gonna continue having fun playing video games. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys next time.